What's up, Lyle Style in the building? Dion, Lyle. Good. Lyle Style. Y'all can hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Hey, oh, that's B, dope. Oh, my God. A microphone goat. What's good? Talk to you. Lovely. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, there. We, you know how it is, man. We out here. You, you, you hopped in, man. I'm out here designing these, these sneakers for the folks, man. We are finna drop these, the facts, the ball faxes. I'm, I'm chilling, man. We just on. We've been live streaming, man. Talking uh, basketball, sports. We then you, you honestly hopped in at the right time, man. We, we on that entrepreneurship talk right now, man. Talk to me. That's what I'm in. That's the field that I'm in. Yeah, I man, I know I see you moving uh, about the cabin, man, with that entrepreneurship on all levels, man. Man, for sure. The way I break it down is a lot of things happened in the last six months. We can all agree to that. We can all attest to that. Either you lost a job, you lost a lot of money, your stocks went down, you lost faith in certain situations, your company lost faith in you. And the only way to ultimately change that is by becoming an entrepreneur, by building your own business. And that way you're creating jobs for other people moving forward. What did, what did um, Jeff Bezos do? He created a platform. He created a, a self-serving platform, an online service to where other people can sell their products. He gave them a platform to become their own business owners, to become, you know, to, to fill the job void. That's what I'm doing here. That's what I'm doing here. We're going, I just came back from an event in Houston. And the crazy thing is, the reason why I was so in love with Big Baller Brand, the JBA, and AB knows this, and you all attest to this 100,000 times. Those are my people. A lot of times in our industry, we're not with our own people. And, mm. and it hurts us because we feel like we're put against that. We feel like we're put in categories where we have to break this mold. We have strikes against us where they're looking at us like, oh, are you coming to work? Why are you coming to work a little late? What were you doing? You messing off last night? No. Why are we getting prejudged for what we're doing? We're coming to work just as hard as everybody else in our field. So what we do here, we impact life. We, we put our money into vessels and learn how to appreciate those vessels. We teach young kids how to invest. They don't teach you how to invest in school. Everybody in the JBA, they didn't know what to do with their money. It, as soon as the JBA was done, they're out of money. They're out of a job. They're out of everything else. So what I saw in this, in this company and the impact with them is that there's people like-minded, just like me. You know, African American, minorities, and they're getting a bag simply by sharing this vital information. Mm -hmm. And I, man, I broke my ankle two months ago. I couldn't even hoop. I was in a bad spot. And every hooper knows this when you get injured, it's the worst feeling ever because what you love to do, you can't do it at that moment. So you have to find other things, other passions, and use that belief until you get back to your injury. You keep rehabbing, but what you, you can only rehab so much a day just like you only can work out so much a day i can get on my phone all day and talk to people about this opportunity and talk to people about this impact and change lives i was on a call last night with 70 people we each went through a trade and we each made profits you know yeah. it's learning mm -hmm. a skill set so yeah. i mean at the end of the day bro i'm impacting people i'm doing more than i ever could have done in a basketball situation say i score i have to literally score 50 points to get on the mic for two minutes and talk about a basketball game when there's real world problems going on in the world. They don't want me to talk about what's going on. They don't want that. Yeah. So you know what I did? I took it in my own hands. I said, I'm become my own business owner. I'm gonna run my own business. I'm gonna join millionaires because they said, yo, go be around millionaires and become one. The only one I knew was the LeVar family. <laughs> yeah. So it was time to expand my horizon, time to get around other like-minded individuals, business individuals who can propel my business, propel my impact, to a whole nother level mm -hmm. and you know how important it is ab to network you know how important it is to put other people in position to win because it's, the reason why people get stuck in success is because they're too greedy they're too greedy and the reason why we're greedy is because the way we've been raised we've been raised to stab people to get what we want mm -hmm. to, 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 to do whatever it takes to get what we want because we never had opportunities we never had vehicles that appreciate we never had the knowledge that appreciates so yeah, what that's we're doing here. We're helping everybody. We're helping the masses. Yeah, yeah. See that that's that's really the, that's that's the facts for real. You know what I'm saying? Like our culture, like our our grandmas and stuff, they didn't teach us how to invest because they were never taught how to invest. They were taught to save. So your facts. money, so your money, you get ten thousand dollars, two thousand twenty. Your ten thousand dollars not gonna be two thousand thirty. It's gonna be the physical money, but it's not gonna be worth the same nice. because the price of living, the price of life, the, the everything is moving. Five G, do phones, we can do everything from our phone now. The digital so, world. Yeah, so it's like 
now we live in an instant world. That's why it's so easy for people to get knocked off and people to get bored or something. Like, you know, like, like if somebody, if, if, if Cardi B put out an album right now and she don't put out an album in the next two years, people gonna start talking like that. But they they used to be the normal. But now we use it, but now we live in an instant world yeah. that they consistently have to put out about two hours a year. You know what I'm saying? Things yeah. like that. So it's like we got to move with the times and we got to bring our people up yeah. and let them understand. Like we started uh, the kid entrepreneur camp last year. Like we went well, year before that. No, last year. And we we started like the kids that came, they got their own business. We taught them how to get their business license, text ID number, all that stuff. Cause when, when I was in Memphis, when the small business conference come to Memphis, they hired me to come to speak about uh marketing and promotion because that's what i'm that's what i'm licensed to do so the goal is to get as many minority companies we actually started minority and we did vendors like once a month you know what i'm yeah. saying in different places we do vendors and we we outshine minority companies so it's like what well, it put like this where i'm from i'm from the hood i'm from westwood in memphis so where I'm from, they didn't teach me that I can be all of that. I can be this, I can be that. You know what I'm saying? But my mom did. So it's like now, I had to figure a lot of stuff out as growing up. So being an entrepreneur was learning. It's like, if I got my own, I ain't got to worry about nobody else. Like right now, like me living in California now, it's all $200 an hour talking to me on the phone. Like in Memphis, it was like 100 You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm still lowballing sure, everybody sure. out here. You know what I'm saying? And that ain't that ain't to be like greedy and say like I'm all that. No, it's it's so many people smarter than me. But I surrounded my pe myself around people. My mama said, if you're the smartest person in your crew, you need to find another crew. Yeah. Because you because everybody learned from you and you can't eat from nobody else. Yeah. So what I did was I had she said, surround yourself around people that's doing what you're doing, not just doing what you're doing, but successful at it. Mm hmm So it's like I'm now sure. I'm that it's like now it like it's it's not a, nothing, nothing is coincidence, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But now I'm on I'm on the line with Ball Facts and AB the Hero, two people that I've been watching on YouTube for all this time. God just set it up like that, but at the end of the day, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. It's to get around people that's smarter than you. Facts, man. I put it like this, man. I put it like this. God gives us all opportunities every day, but our mindset and our faith is not strong enough that we don't see the opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we're afraid to run with it. We're afraid to run with it. Just like you said, you ran with it. You went to LA, you made it shake. And now opportunities are happening. The crazy thing is successful people want other people to be successful. They just have to make sure you really want it. Yeah. Because what would it do me justice if I lead you to the Nile River, the eternal river of life, and you take a, take a, take a piss in it? Or, you, or you, you show up sloppy drunk and fall over in it? Yeah, you, know, you gotta have your mindset in the right space before you can get the opportunities that you need, before mm -hmm. you can take advantage of them. The reason why I'm so successful in everything I do, if I put my name on it, I go 100. percent Yeah, and that's you, all it is. And I, I'll say this, man. That that's one of the things that I can I admire about my man Dion Lau here. And for y'all don't know, that's my man Dion Lau. Uh, Chicago Ballers, JVA USA, yes, All Star, the whole vibe. You know what I'm saying with the the brand. You you see him on the TV, the Ballers, Ball in the Family show, the whole vibe. But even in the JVA, right? You know what I'm saying. Being at the top of of that, whenever he was doing it, you know what I'm saying. Uh, play ball at uh, Texas, at San Antonio. Tech, you know what I'm saying. Six yeah, man of the right. year, UTSA. UTSA, six man of the year. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, like trying to be the best at them or everything they're trying to do. But then post JBA, I didn't see my man on the entrepreneur grind in a, at least three or four different ways clothing line, you know what I'm saying? The 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 forex stuff, the them there be everywhere. Uh, what I seen him, he was uh with um, what's the dude who who do the the basketball memes I seen you with uh Fama Loso or whatever his oh, name. You know, um, you talking about B dot A dot B dot. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just That's like uh, rubbing shoulders, networking with everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I I appreciate it about you know what I'm saying him and even just being out there. I remember we had a, a ton of conversations. You know what I'm saying of being uh while we were out there on the tour. You know what I mean? And and I could just see. 
and my man absorbing the information and then whatever you say to him you can see it in practice like damn near immediately you know what i'm saying so nah yeah so, they do out to be on loud man for real for the jba usa and then being good enough to make it to the to the world tour you know what i'm saying so yeah and and then not not just saying like okay like you know the high school story that was my peak no afterwards still going for something still grinding and then coming with a message not just some merchandise so mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying i'm like that's that's dope yeah hey that's we got to get up. we got to get up appreciate man. that family appreciate like, that like, lifestyle life. we got to get up man like for real hey uh, man stuff. my ig is is right there DM me, you. everybody who's DM me, AB can test this. I always reach back out. Yeah, okay. Anybody, anybody that knows me, I never will be too high not to give you advice, not to lead you in the right direction. Mm-hmm. I don't build this network for myself, I build it for my people. I got you. I got you. I'm sure I understand that the more we can get this together. Yeah, I, I got you. And uh, I'm, a, I'm I gotta hip y'all all on there too because uh, me and some guys we travel doing entrepreneur uh, conferences, they call us the kings of company. So we actually getting everything done and we just we put a show now. So the Kings of Company, we I just put up all the social media up like the day before yesterday or something like that. So we finna get back hard on it, teaching entrepreneurship. Hell yeah. And dude, that's gonna be stupid. The the, the Kings of Company, them people we did we did one event together, man. Them people, man, people like people still profiting and making money off their businesses. Like since that, I'm telling you, bro, like. That's on big, so y'all probably check that out on Facebook. And Kings of Company, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a real dope situation, but I know I gotta get with all of y'all individually. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I, AB, I appreciate you bringing me to uh, allowing me to come to the platform, but um, it just the relationship that's being made against uh, Moorish people like us, like it's like that's that's what needs to be going on. Yeah, it's a big fact. AB is been spreading the love for real. He be bringing people in. Nah, man. Honestly, bro, I feel like that's what you got to do. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to do. I'm, I'm, I told you, man. Yeah. So hopefully, man, I'm trying to work some stuff, man, where we go, like really, you know what I'm saying? Kind of build the, the community and all of that stuff too, man. So it's dope, man. And I appreciate y'all hopping in and, and, and building back. You feel me? Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey, we need to put a show together. We can put up a show. Man, let's up. do it, man. I know uh Slim reached out to me. Me and Ballfax supposed to set something up a couple of months ago. I don't know what happened. Um, but I'm ready for it. Like I said, I got a story, and y'all put me on in position to win and tell that story. I'm gonna tell that story until I croak. Yeah. And I ain't forgot about you, bro. You're right. We're gonna do it. I got I have some stuff looming. I don't want to give away too much, some other kind of avenues I'm getting into. But I definitely need to link up with you and other people, even for her vision, for sure. But AB definitely be letting mugs in. Well, let's do it. It's already done. Let's do it. All right. Well, I, I know I'm going to get up with you. Uh, I'm going to get up with all y'all. Ball facts, make sure you hear me in the inbox. Like, we talking business on here. Y'all don't even understand what's happening right now. Like, this this some real stuff. Like I'm, yeah. I'm I'm into entrepreneurship. Like I've been I've been working for myself for years now. I left a job that I was straight straight. You know what I'm saying to be me and my family. So uh yeah, like anybody that got that entrepreneurial mindset, I'm telling you. Like I ain't gonna lie, AB, when you went with JBA and you kind of slimmed down on them videos, I was like, man, uh, guys, I hope you see you keep on going, man. So to me see you coming back. You know what I'm saying? Doing like you're doing it, man. Because you get these watch minutes like a mug right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, for real, yeah. If he would have started the channel a week ago, he already be monetized. Right, yeah. right, right. <laughs> Just off this. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah so. Man, for her, I got. I probably got to connect you with this dude that I listen to for business. And he broke a misconception in my mind. I, I, met, I met him a long time ago, but he's an older gentleman. I don't know, maybe closer to the 60s. And uh, he told me, you know, there's there's a big lie they're gonna tell us people of color that uh you know it takes money to make money. He's like, that's no, not true. That's Let me show true. you how to make money without any investment. He showed me and he just took me thing from thing from uh business to business and said, This is what you need to start. And guess how much it costs? Nothing when you come here. And teaching me really how to research, how to look it up and and understand that you first you got to get you got to rid yourself of this government public education what they teach you you know what i'm saying they have to have well, a whole help one, one of the mindset one thing with the government education 
Okay, you got two forms of education. You got valuable, you got valuable information, and you have non-valuable information. Everything they teach in the school system is non-valuable. I haven't taken one principle from that and applied it into my life. And sorry, it's a little loud. I'm in a. We just had a business meeting. Let me walk out. But everything that you learn in school, the Pythagorean algorithm, the the, the multiplication tables. Can you name one time you have used any one of those methods in your business or in your vocation? Long division. Yeah. <laughs> when you apply to a job, they tell you the job description, what you need. Has it ever said, oh, you better have passed algebra class. Oh, you better have had a biology. You better know your history. No, because the history goes to the winner. The history goes to the victor. So once I understood that, I said, yo, education's for me, but school necessarily is not for me because I'm not learning viable school tools that I can make myself grow. I'm learning and resources that are not going to be any anything to my existence. They're That's not right. going to propel my existence in any way. So we got to get out of that mindset of, and this is where it starts. Our parents and our grandparents have always worked nine to five. Mm-hmm. They always have told, been told, go to school and work for somebody else. So now that we know that we always have been, we're on this earth to serve others, why don't we serve others at a bigger impact and serve our other communities? Why are we serving in other communities, other businesses that don't care about us? That don't that, care about us. It's they real. want to see us work for them. Yeah. I want to see everybody around me get wealthy. I care about them that much that I'm willing to sacrifice my time and my brand and my name and put it on everything that I believe in solely. Yeah. Because I'm not, it's a new generation. Like, I saw a meme that Sue Dog put on IG. It was funny. It was like a like a, a 12-year-old in a wheelchair. And the old head was talking to Michael Jordan. He was like, yo, this is Michael. You got to meet Michael. He was like, what are you talking about? This dude in the little skinny uh, tight biker shorts? What are you talking about? This dude right here, bald dude, look like somebody's auntie? But it's, it's the understanding that the new generation doesn't care what happened before. They're going to go get it a different way. They're not going to work for a different business. They're going to work for themselves. So that's what we have to understand. That's what we're doing now. We're building businesses within our com- within our um, culture. Yeah, within that's our right. Heritage. We're yeah. breaking generation curses because we're not no longer accepting the curses they put onto us. We're no longer accepting the situations that we were put into. It's a system. Why do they think it's always the system? The system is broken. The system is built to keep us down. So we got to build our own system. The way we do that is by becoming our own business owners and teaching this information. How do you invest? How do you make profit by trading? How do you learn this skill set? How do you turn cents into dollars? You've always heard that mantra, but you never really understood it. That's what we do here. Yeah. That's what I'm out here to do. I'm here to impact a billion people. AB knows my passion. He knows my work ethic. And like he said, I'm going to get it done. Whatever I do, I'm going to get it done. Hey, y'all, my battery finna die on this phone. It was good chopping it up with y'all. I'm going to hit y'all up later. Thanks, AB. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Lyles, oh, for her vision. All right, hey, man. Take hey, care. Good to, good hey, to see Paul, you, man. send me that uh, send me that info you was talking about too, man. All right, all right, I got you, bro. Yep. Ball facts again. <laughs> yeah, but you're right about that, bro. Especially with school. Like I, I took my son out of school three years ago. I started my own school, homeschool called Fahari University. Where I had my son and a few other kids. Like my son right now is uh 13 in the ninth grade. He's graduating at 15. He turned 16 later on that year. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, he's being like, if you look at videos and he with me, I say my business partner. Because there's one thing I'm bringing him up. I'm bringing him up, up on this entrepreneurship and stuff that I had to learn because I, I was taught to go to college and, and do this and do that and blah, blah. And I realized, man, that that ain't even for us. That, that system not made for us. You know what I'm saying? So I had to put myself in a situation where I that I'm working against the system, but yet I'm I'm swimming above water. I'm not drowning either. So, and it's all entrepreneurship always been in my blood. Like I said, I, I honestly think it's I and I think people can learn it, but then again, I think it's um, I think it's hereditary. I think it's in your genes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man, I'm I'm gonna go follow homeboy right now. Man, I understand. Like I said, what he's saying about the school is 100. I worked for the school system for I worked at a high school for seven years, and I I I couldn't get with I couldn't get with the curriculum. I pulled my son out, and I started my own homeschool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And 
to me, that's the best way to go. Teach your kids entrepreneurship, man. Like, for real. Teach your kids entrepreneurship, man. Be in the same cycle that the world in. And us as Moorish people, I say Moorish because we, they tell us we black. And they gave us that name that we black. This is actually called Moor. This is, this is a Moorish color. So us as Moorish people, we got to understand that, that we built different. You know what I'm saying? We don't get, count, we don't, we don't get sick from the sun. It gives us energy. So we got to understand all of the things that we are built for. Yeah. And we are built to be royal. So it's like, it ain't no sense to us constantly living as peasants and God father. So he's like the king of Camelot. Like his kids had the best, you know what I'm saying, in the land because that was their daddy. The creator is our father. So it's yeah. no sense for us to live like peasants, you know what I'm saying? And we only live like that because we weren't taught that we can be better. You know what I'm saying? That's why he said I had the t-shirt on, on better last time. Like he said, mm -hmm. I said, that's actually a song I did. It was yeah. a remix of Missy Elliott song. And I'm better than whatever you think I am. So that's yeah. where that come from. And like I said, I'm, I'm going to give an old boy. I'm going to give an everybody. I know we've been on here for a long time. You know what I'm yeah, yeah. I <laughs> two, two hours and 40 sure. minutes. Nah, man, I, I think it's a lot of game out here that we done, done gave for sure. You feel me? Uh, for the culture and all of that stuff, man. So that's dope. Um, we uh, we started loud, man, talking about basketball. You feel me? We started talking about basketball, and then always we does, went down to uh, always yeah, that story that way. exactly. And then it went like you know, what I mean, uh, brands and all of that stuff. We talked about it's more than an athlete, AB. That's what I it know, comes down bro. to. It's more than an athlete. The bronze said it best, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, you was you were serving in JBA too, dog. Like, dude, I, I'll tell you, I seriously, though, I watch every game of the JBA, literally, from the first game to the, the last, uh, in, uh, to the last game. You know what I'm saying? So, big shout out to Paul Fix, man. Appreciate the love, bro. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate that, man. You guys got any more quick questions for me? I'm about to actually get up out of here real quick. I appreciate you for this opportunity, AB. Nothing but love to you. I see yeah. you doing great things. Keep going. But if you guys got any questions for me, I'll answer them real quick. But I'm gonna go ahead and. All right. Yeah, bro. So quick, quick, quick. Uh, two things. One, are you you still hooping? Like where where are you at? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know the pandemic so, slowing a lot of stuff down. For sure. So with the hoop thing, um, like I said, two months ago I broke my ankle. Before that, I actually broke my ankle the day after my birthday. Great birthday present, huh? Mm -hmm. um, before that, I was playing in a three on three event, FIBA organized. Um, with COVID right now, all the events are really slow. The market's cut in half. So you got to be careful what you're willing to do at this moment because not a lot of opportunities are out there. So me, I understand my value. I'm not going to take a 50% pay cut to go overseas. I'm not yeah. doing that. When I can play in America, keep honing my skills. So when the G League opens back up, I already have four workouts set up. Yeah. I just stopped telling people about it because that that puts up false expectations on them. I only have to expect it out of myself. I already got four G League workouts in the works. Yeah, it's okay. already done. Like I'm already I work out with G League dudes all the time. Like I was in Omaha two months ago, playing for a FIBA organized event. It's gonna be in the Olympics. It would have been this year, but it got pushed back because of COVID. Mm -hmm. I, Every day I'm in San Antonio working with George Gerben Pep Academy. Working with the kids, playing with the kids. Okay, I got my skills, holding my skills. I got a quick question. Go ahead. All right. We were we were talking basketball earlier. You played against and along uh um um Mello Mello? and Jello. So as far as Jello, where you you think Jello gonna be at next year? With his skill set, you know his mind his mind, how he play. You know his his grind, and I I seen Ballface just released a video. He he down there at six seven now. So I, I I speak nothing but highly of that whole family. And Jello actually is my closest one out of all of them. Mm -hmm. um, we relate the most, and we actually were roommates on that tour three months, and we really got to know each other. And I really got to know him, and I'm like, bro, this dude is cool, like super cool, super chill. The 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 funniest person you can meet, the most. Um, you know, social accepting person you can meet, never judges anybody. And then on the basketball court, really, let's talk about let's talk about it. So he's been nursing an injury for two years. Right. 
His ankle is the size of my head right now. He got it drained six months ago. You saw him in the boot. Mm-hmm. If you look at his workouts, you see he's way more explosive now. <laughs> you, you see, hold on, let me get away from this loud. You see he's way more explosive. You see that he's, everything that he was lacking, he's picking it up, he's ball handling. You know, he's, he's getting, he's, you know, he's, he's picking up athleticism. He's, t- he's, sl- he's um, slimming down a little bit, but getting stronger. So my thing is, Jello is gonna get there. He just needs to prep. Uh, operation means prep. Uh, preparation means opportunity. Mm-hmm. Preparation means opportunity because Jello is a lights out scorer. I kid you not. I've seen him score sixty points on grown ass men. When yeah. they go home, they gotta tell their kid like, "Yo, this ninety year old just scored on me sixty mm-hmm. times, and he's only ten years older than you." Mm-hmm. Like he knows he's a specialist at doing what he does. <laughs> People are like, oh, his game's, his game's real simple. No. When you know what you do, you do what you do over and over again. Like, oh, he needs to add this. No, he doesn't. He's a scorer, and he's strong. He can hold his own. So he is going to he's gonna get his shine. It's just a matter of when the right person believes in him. As long as he's doing what he's doing right now and keeps working out, which he's going to, he's going to get his opportunity. Because Melo is a superstar. We all know that. So Melo's the youngest. We know Lonzo's a superstar. So you ain't gonna tell me that Jello's not a superstar yet either. He just made some mistakes in his past, got the wrong crowd, and everybody's judging for that. Yeah, because a lot, a, a lot, a lot of, of, yeah, a lot of people put him in the category with his brothers. Then they not put him in the category of what's in the NBA right now. Yeah. So it's like I think they need. I think he needs for to be sure. taken out of that category and put his talent outside of his brothers. Like he's he could be in the NBA right now based off talent. Mm-hmm. Facts. It's just it's it comes down to a lot of people don't realize this. It's a lot of politics. So it comes down to your brand name. The talent is not a uh, uh, not enough in the NBA. It's not enough. Yeah. It comes down to your IP level. It comes down to your brand. It comes down to people like you so much they can't get rid of you. That's why you yeah. see a lot of people that don't really have the skill set, but they play at that level because they're yeah. professional all the time. But like I said, my phone's about to die. I'm going to have to slide up out of here. I appreciate right. y'all. If y'all want to do this again, like AB, send me the link. I'm going to jump on. No questions asked. All right. For sure, man. I appreciate you coming through, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's always love, man. So, you know what I'm saying? All right, yep. all right y'all. Y'all take all right. care, man. All love on this end, too. Keep doing what you're doing. Right. Yep, for sure. All right, one. Peace.